Hi, this is Atif. We are going to learn about some basic uses of Google Map Intent. For example, we may need to pin a specific location on Google Map using an intent. Similarly, we may need to show the direction from the current location to a specific location on Google Map using intent. Sometimes it takes some time to show. Okay, the direction is now showing on Google Map. So, we may also need to show the direction from the direction between two specific locations on Google Map using intent. Our overview is now completed. Now, we will create a new project and implement these features in our project. Open Android Studio. Click New Project. Select the App TV Use Activity. Click Next. Type any name for our project. Choose Language Kotlin. And set the minimum SDK version. Click Finish. The project is now created according to the configurations we have chosen. Now, first, we will, create, uh, we will design the UI of our app. For simplifications, I am going to replace the constraints layout with linear layout. Set orientation to vertical and gravity to center. So, all of the views inside that linear layout will be center vertical and horizontal. Set padding to tag between, removing the text view. Adding a new text view with width and height as wrap one time. Set text to show an appropriate label. For the button, we will show below that text view. To pin a specific location on Google Map using intent. Now we need to create a button to show specific location on Google Map. Set width as masculine nice and height wrap one time. Now set an ID to that button to access it in the activity and add the set on click listener on that button. Now set the text related to that button, for example, in location. Now our button is completed. Now we need to show another text view to show an appropriate label for the next button that we need show below that text view. Let's say it open direction from current location to a specific location. Now give a little margin from the top. Now we will need to create another button that will be used to show direction from current location to a specific location. Set ID to that button. To access it in the activity and to set all click listener on it. Now set the related text to that button, for example, direction from current location. Direction when button is now ready. So let's create another text view. Set width and height as wrap content. Set text view to show related text. For example, open direction between two specific locations. Now we need to give a little margin from top. Let's create another button to show direction between two specific locations. Set width as match parent and height as tab content. Now we need to give an ID to that button to access that button in the activity and to set on click listener on that function. And also we need to set the text to that button, for example, direction between specific locations. Our UI part is now done. So now let's start implementing the features we are going to learn. We will declare the UI views on class level. 
so we can access them inside whole class. I have used late in it wrong because I will surely initialize it in on create function. Let's name it pin location with type material button. To initialize our UI views easily and correctly, let's split the example file to the right so we can we can also copy the IDs in location button equal to find view by ID r dot id dot pin location button. Okay, now let's declare our second button that is direction one button. And now we need to initialize that button inside on create function. Same as we have done above, find view by id r dot id dot direction one button. Now let's declare the third button that is direction two button. Direction two button equal to find view by id r dot id dot direction two button. Now we need to set the on click listener to pin location button pin location button dot set on click listener and direction one button dot set on click listener and direction two button dot set on click listener to make the code more easy I am also adding the comments now we need to specify the locations using latitudes and longitudes to make get the latitude and longitude dynamically according to the requirements or you may specify it as constant values as we need to deal with two different locations so i am naming them latitude one longitude one and second location to latitude 2 and longitude 2. We also need to assign some latitude and longitude values. Currently I have assigned empty values. Now let's create a function to pin a specific location for Google Map using in time. Let's name it pin location map. This function will require two parameters that are latitude and longitude both functions will be of type string so whenever this function will be called we have to pass the latitude and longitude inside that function before creating intent code we need to set up the URI that we will pass in intent URI dot pass inside that URI we need to embed the url of google map including base url which is map dot maps dot google dot com slash maps slash search now we need to concatenate the latitude and longitude dollar latitude to show values of variables and constants inside a string, we use dollar sign. Now let's create intent wall intent equal to intent. Pass the parameter intent dot action view. After that, start activity and pass the parameter in time we have just created we need to call pin location map function inside click listener of pin location button pin location map now we need to pass latitude 1 and longitude 1 as parameters inside that function let's create another function Highway function direction from current map. 
This function will also require two parameters latitude and longitude. Destination latitude and the type is string. Comma second parameter is destination longitude and the type is string. As we have done above, first of all, we need to create a URI. Let's say it map URI equal to URI dot parse. Now we need to parse the URI inside that HTTPS colon double slash maps dot google dot com slash maps question mark. The question mark in URL acts as separator. It indicates end of URL resource path and start of query parameters, which are destination latitude and destination longitude in our case. DAWDR indicates destination address. The dollar sign is used to concatenate values of variables in string. Now we are creating an intent intent and pass the parameter which is intent dot action view start activity with the intent we have just created now we need to call this function inside on click listener of direction one button pass the latitude and longitude as parameters before proceeding, we have to correct our mistake that is we have not passed map URI as second parameter in intent. Let's do it now. Comma map URI. Similarly, let's do it in next function. Comma map URI. Now we are good to go. Let's create another function, private function, direction between, direction between to map. This function will require four parameters, which are destination location, source location, and destination location. We will call source location as source latitude of type string. Second parameter source longitude of type string. Third parameter destination latitude of type string. Fourth parameter destination longitude of type string. Now we are going to create the URI as we have done above. Wall. Let's name it as map URI equal to URI dot pass HTTPS colon double slash maps dot google dot com slash maps question mark SAWDR indicates source address. Now we need to concatenate source latitude and source longitude. Make sure we use dollar sign to concatenate values of variables or constants. And now we need to concatenate destination latitude and destination longitude. Destination longitude. Let's create intent wall. Let's name it as intent equal to intent. This will require two parameters. First parameter is of type action type, which is action view. Second parameter is URI, that is map URI. Start activity with the intent we have just created. 
Now we need to call this function inside click listener of direction to button. First parameter is latitude 1, second parameter is longitude 1, third parameter is latitude 2, fourth parameter is longitude 2. Make sure to assign some latitude and longitude to both locations. We have another mistake in the direction between two functions that is we have not include keyword d a double d r that indicates destination address. Our code is now completed. Now it's time to test if run project on an emulator or on real device click pin location button to check if location is pinned on map yes it's working now let's check if second feature is working or not okay this is working fine now click the third button okay direction between two locations are being shown on google map so it's working fine thanks for watching best of luck if there is any issue you may ask in comments same tutorial is also available in java